up, everybody? This is drawing to the watercolor pencil study. Um, in this project, it mirrors uh, a project that we do in painting three, uh, because this line, you know, between drawing and painting um, is really kind of kind of muddied, you know, when we come to watercolor pencil. Um, in drawing or in painting class, um, the painting student needs to treat the watercolor pencil as a way to create, you know, highlights or you know, a little more detail um, that they couldn't normally get in their painting. And from your perspective, um, you are already working, you know, in, in more detail, but I want you to find ways to soften up an area using the watercolor pencil's ability to blend easily together, you know, with, with water. Um, so you're going to watch this video on how to watercolor this, um, this butterfly. And then you are going to do just a section of the wing. Um, so if you notice, it says complete half of a wing on a four by six. And it says half of a wing, which means you're not doing half of the butterfly, but you just do like this little section here. Because normally with a butterfly, you have one, two, three, four sections. Um, so you're just doing a, a quarter of a butterfly um, when you're doing it. And like here is an example um, starting off. Because I want you to get used to, and you do it on a four by six watercolor card. Um, I want you to understand that with color pencil, you know, um, that you have to kind of work with it, you know, kind of in layers. You know, where we have this first part um, that you lay out, um, get some water on there. I mean, do your drawing a little bit, you know, throw down some some values, um, and then you go in with water and you, you use that to blend. Um, and then once it's dry, you go back over it and you get, you know, detailed lines in there. So, so it's a great tool to use. And some people, you know, when you come, when you think about that pen and ink project or your, um, your micro pen project, you used a heavier board. Um, it's usually, it's called like a, um, a multimedia board, you know, or a, it's, it's, it's a thicker than a tag board. It's also called map board, um, or it can be called that. Um, that you you would start drawing on that traditionally because then if you wanted to go in and, and do a little bit more of a mixed media you know between a little bit of paint you know a little bit of pencil um and stuff like that that you have that without using you know a thinner drawing paper that you know it flexes a lot so you have the warm-up basic directions you know watch that you know do that little sample you know again submit three ideas um, that are still primarily focused on um, on drawing on the drawing art um, rather than overly painting painting it. So you, again, it gets a little tricky because because I don't want you to completely cross over into painting because you're still a drawing student, but we're going to steal a little bit from from the world of painting, you know, to, to try to get better at drawing, you know, by, by finding ways you can blend that together. So obviously you can find stuff online, um, but, you know, again, try to see if you can work off your own for your own photography skills if you can. Um, or try to find ways to combine things, you know, but if you, again, if you just, and take it, you're taking drawing too, just because you enjoy the class and you have no intention of going into, you know, art as a career and you like copying things, then that's fine. You know, but, but again, if you want to kind of challenge yourself or you, or you do want to pursue, you know, a career in art, um, it's being creative and learning to develop that creative is, is super, super important. Um, cause like with this picture right here, you know, it could have been inspired by, you know, a photograph. And then they, then the artist took it another step farther, um, kind of thing. And that's what that's what you should try to do. You know, at some point, um, if you, especially if you want to kind of pursue that that direction in your life. Uh, scrolling down, let's look at the rubric. So ten points or twenty percent of your grade is that butterfly wing, because um, it's so important that you get used to that, because that is a big part of your project is learning how to how to do that. Um, you know, fifteen points or um, thirty percent of your grade is your successfulness, you know, of watercolor techniques with the watercolor pencil, you know, deep contrast, again, to pull out colors so it doesn't look muddy, you know, but you have rich, bright colors and you have, you know, and, and you have lighter colors, um, dark blues or blacks, and you got whites, you know, just that contrast that always makes things pop. Um, and then obviously another 10% um, is for your, you um, ability to keep your craftsmanship up, you know, make it look good and detailed and it's clean and, you know, everything that, that was able to get you into drawing to in the first place. Um, 
you know, in Artsonia, again, five points, 10% of a grade. So good luck on this project. Um, it's a, again, it's on a um, nine by 12 watercolor paper. Um, so it's not overly large. So um, hopefully you can get some good details on it. Other than that, again, shoot me an email if you have any questions or chat with me in class and good luck on the project. <laughs>